I slowed even more, now I'm down to almost zero airspeed. There it comes. There it comes. Sinking sensation, more vibrations. 500 feet per minute, 600 feet per minute. I'm in it, okay, starting the power, so I'm just gonna... We'll be going back to that aircraft footage in just a minute. This is gonna be a demonstration on selling with power. This is something you have to perform for the examiner during your check ride. And this is a new video going into Helicopter Online Ground School. Today, I just wanted to share some more content with you in day 84, Coffee with Kenny. I am Kenny Keller, creator of Helicopter Online Ground School. So just to let you know, these are the types of things that we do. Our website is always being updated. We're always updating video. A member recently commented about the video that we had on the site was actually about seven years old. And he said, hey, the footage is a little bit grainy and I wasn't really understanding what it was you were doing. So I made a new video that explains better in detail. That's been our thing for seven years is continuing to build on Helicopter Online Ground School and make it better and better as we get more experienced and as time goes by. So we do answer your questions in the comment sections. Currently, you'll see Brian Rutledge in there answering a lot of your questions because he is our operations manager, 30-year aviator, 30-year law enforcement officer, flies helicopters for a sheriff's department in California. Super detailed, super smart, super sharp guy. He's handling the majority of the comp comments at this time. And I showed him this video last night and he was like, I like it much better than the one that we previously had. Again, it was pretty old. So we're going to go back to the aircraft, show you the video. Know that there's a link down below this video for Helicopter Line Ground School where you can go check out our memberships. So back to the helicopter. Okay, I'm replacing the video inside Helicopter Line Ground School. It's about seven years old. Time for a new video. And this video is going to be a selling of power demonstration, but I want to cover a few things in here in the aircraft first so you understand what it is I'm doing when I go out in the aircraft. We're going to go out and practice getting the selling with power at a 2,000 feet AGL and then practice recovering. So what we'll do is we'll pick our altitude, let's say it's 2,800 feet. We're going to get to 2,800 feet and we're going to have a zero rate of descent and we're going to start slowing the aircraft down. We're going to start bringing that speed back, going to a hover. Now if I stay pointing into the wind, slowing the power is probably not going to happen. So what I'm probably going to do as I'm slowing the aircraft down, I'm going to do maybe like a crosswind. I'm not going to get as crazy as going downwind, but I'm going to not have the nose of the aircraft sticking into the wind. I'm going to have it probably a crosswind. And as I start slowing down and I get the airspeed slower and slower and slower, eventually the aircraft is going to start to settle. And when it starts settling, you're going to get a sinking sensation, you're going to get a vibration, and you're going to be looking down here at the VSI. And when it gets greater than 300 feet per minute, and it's increasing, and you have this sinking sensation, and the helicopter starting to vibrate, you're in the onset of selling the power. And if you don't recover, that rate of descent is going to keep increasing, increasing, increasing. The helicopter is going to keep shaking and seemingly go a little crazy on you. So let's go out in the aircraft and do it so that you know what I'm doing. I'll be at about 2,800 feet. I'll be at zero rate of descent. And I'm just going to start bringing that airspeed back. I'll probably be with a crosswind. I'm not going to be pointing into the wind. And I'm just going to keep slowing down, slowing down, slowing down until the aircraft starts to sink. When it's below 300 feet per minute, it's not in selling with power. Once it's greater than 300 feet per minute and, it's, and you're sinking and you have no airspeed and you've got power applied, that is when you'll be in selling with power. Okay, I'm heading up to 2,800 feet, which will be 2,000 AGL, right? So we got all kinds of altitude to practice getting into selling with power and then recovering from it. So I'm coming out here, I'm going over nice big open areas, big open fields. In the event I had some kind of failure, something bad happened, okay, I got nice big open areas to go. Not over downtown, going out here, out in the uh, big open areas. Now the wind is out of the south. Right now I'm pointing south, which I'm just doing that to climb up and get my altitude. But to get in selling my power, I'm going to have to you know, get probably a crosswind. I'm not going to do downwind, but we'll just see. I'm still climbing up, getting my altitude, and I think I'm going to turn a little more this way, just so that sun's not right in my eyes. I'd rather be able to see the instruments clearly. Okay, so I just explained at the beginning of the video what it is I'm doing in here and what it is I'm looking for. And I'm reshooting this because the video was old. We had a ground school member that didn't quite understand what it is I was doing. So I said, I'll go out and shoot a brand new video. So I'm up at 2,800 feet. 
I'm going to start slowing the aircraft down, just gently. Right now i got a little bit of a climb, so I need to get rid of that climb. There's zero rate of descent, okay? Now I'm going to start slowing to a hover, so I'm going to keep bringing it back. Zero rate of descent, now I'm down to 50. Still re zero rate of descent, now I'm down to 45. Zero rate of descent, I'm down to 40. Got about 200 feet per minute, I got about just below 30. I'm below 30 now. I got 200 feet per minute. Down to about 20. Airspeed, or it's decreasing now, okay? Now I got 300 feet per minute. Now well, you're gonna start seeing a lot more vibrations in the camera, you should. I slow it even more, now I'm down to almost zero airspeed. There it comes. There it comes. Sinking sensation, more vibrations. 500 feet per minute, 600 feet per minute. I'm in it, okay, starting the power, so I'm just gonna gently go forward, build up the airspeed. Now that I'm above 40, just a random number, I'm, I'm, I'm now out of slang of power, I'm still descending, but I can easily just go a little aft cyclic, raise some power, more power to get the descent stopped. So I went forward cyclic, raised a little, or lowered a little bit of collective, got the airspeed going, and flew out of it. So that's very simply what it is, and I hope that explains it a little better than the first video that I just replaced. But hey, that video was seven years old, so this is a brand new video. Again, I explained it all to you one more time. It's basically slowing down to a hover, out of ground effect, with the wind not off your nose. The wind's off the side. I wouldn't recommend doing it downwind. And you keep slowing the aircraft down, trying to a, to a hover. Eventually, it, aircraft's going to start to settle. So hopefully that makes more sense. Put your comments down below and let us know. Maybe you didn't see the old video. Maybe you did. Let me know if this makes more sense. And we'll see you in the next video. So thanks everybody for tuning in for day 84. Like, subscribe, put your comments down below about selling with power. And I will add, some are going to say, why didn't you use the Bouchard recovery for this video? I just wanted to demonstrate what it is you're going to have to do for the examiner. You could use either method, the method we've been using for years or the Richard recovery. But at 2,000 feet AGL, there's no danger of hitting the ground unless we have some kind of a big component failure. So that's why I chose just to use the standard method. So like, subscribe, leave your comment down below, and see you tomorrow for day 85.